Hello, folks. It's Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Photoshop Elements 2023, looking at some of the new features in the program. In this generation, Adobe has, as always, put considerable effort into building out the library of guided edits that are available by clicking this tab at the top of the screen. Some of these guided edits are very basic. They can be used, for instance, to extend a background on a photo or using content awareness to make the photo actually larger or wider. Some of these create some cool effects or help you improve or repair an old photo. Some are very basic. Some deal with color or creating special effects and some work in black and white and some are just for fun. This is a new one here in the fun edits. It's called the peek through overlay. It's not a big headline kind of effect, not a huge deal, but it is kind of fun anyway. If you have a photo and you just want to add some depth to it by adding some foreground, all you need to do is to go here to this list of overlays that are in the peek through overlay and you can add them to your photo. So we've got a nice library here of for instance, I, want, I can add some tree leaves in the foreground just by clicking on this button and selecting one of the tree leaves. There we go. We've added some there on the, on the left. Let's add some more on the right. You can add some flowers in the foreground. And it's a pretty nice library. It's kind of fun. You can bury people behind a foreground. Again, not a groundbreaking new tool in the program, but kind of a fun way to add new effects or new depth to your photo. And it's pretty convincing. This really, these really look like real objects in the foreground. You can also add some vignette effect to the photo if you click on that. And that will kind of darken the edges and make it lighter in the center. And if you want, you can take the foreground here by clicking on the blur button and dragging across there and blur the objects in the foreground so that your subject remains the focus of the picture and yet we've got some cool stuff in the foreground too. There are lots of great guided edits in the program and lots of fantastic tools in the program. If you want to know more about them, check out the many tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. And if you want to know everything there is to know about this program and every hidden gem in the toolkit, you'll want to check out the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Photoshop Elements. It's available at amazon.com. I'm the guy who wrote the book and I hope to see you again real soon. Take care.